thing is, I've got this stitch. My mind is just saying stop and walk. Walk, see if we can fight through. We'll just keep moving, maybe a bit slower. Hi guys, welcome along. The good news is the rain has disappeared at last. It's been like a week and a half of non-stop wind and rain. It's been horrible here in Blackpool. Uh, but we've got a dry night, a little bit of a breeze, and I'm a week and a half away from the Great North Run. And I'm just bringing you up today and show you tonight's run. It's the Blackpool night run for the Bryan House uh, Children's Hospice, um, it's, which is a fantastic charity. And the race itself is quite good. It's out and back along the uh, closed roads of the promenade through the world famous illuminations so uh, it doesn't start to laugh hate at night when it goes a little bit darker so please uh, stick around as I show you that run but yeah it's all for charity 4,000 runners is what they've captured at it's a free to enter event as well which is good but they do expect you to make a donation or to raise money for the charity which is also brilliant so thank you to everybody who's taking part and raising that money for a great course tonight so yeah the Blackpool Night Run I've done it a couple of times before, uh, 33 minutes, 35 minutes, because it's four and a half miles, approximately 7k. But the way the training's gone for the Great North this year, I'm not feeling fully fit and about half a stone, six pound overweight. So uh, yeah, I don't feel at uh, my proper fighting weight neither. So uh, we'll, we'll see how we go as well. Put one foot in front of the other. Did park on on Saturday, did that in 22 minutes, 47 seconds. So uh, no. It's not all doom and gloom, but we'll see how we go tonight. If I get around 40 minutes, I'll be more than happy with that. Okay, so let's get into it. This is the Blackpool Night Run. Enjoy. As the sun sets over Blackpool, the lights have come on about half an hour from the start. So just running backwards and forwards, just do a little bit of a warm up. We've got paces today. So let's say about half a mile an hour warm up. And then we'll get this black all night run done. Don't know if you can see it on the video, but the promenade of Blackpool is not flat. And the first bit from the start line to North Pier is uphill, which is always good when you start run. First mile, wind assisted, 7 minutes 30 seconds. Don't think I'm going to keep that up. Look at this, beautiful. <clears throat> I 
I don't know if you can see behind me. But it's a long, slow drag uphill. And it's starting to hurt. We reached the top in about a minute. Mile two, 7.28, bit of a stitch. And the front runners are going back already. Turn round, about a quarter of a mile away. Is, I've got this stitch. In my mind is just saying stop and walk. We'll see if we can fight through. We'll just keep moving, maybe a bit slower. One foot in front of the other. Started to slow down a bit. 7.53, a mile three, a mile and a half to go. Mile four. 8.13, at the throttle back, the stitch is hurting. Anyway, half a mile to go. We'll wait for the official time to come through, but I'm happy with that. A bit slower than last year, but I've only run 500 miles this year. My training has been so sporadic, so it's coming at 36, yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll see what happens in a week and a half at the Great North, but that's with the Blackpool Night Run. Well done everyone, it's a fantastic running. <laughs> Bit windy on the way back, but you've all done brilliantly tonight. All for a great cause as well. 4,000 people running along the prom for the local children's hospice, Ryan House. If you can donate, I'll put a link in the uh, description below. Please do.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.